Hi, this is James White with Freak Interview, specializing in as seen on TV product reviews. And I'm not just glad to see you today, I've got a mouse in my pocket. That's right, it's the pocket mouse. And that's today's review. All right, so I've been working with this pocket mouse for about a week now, and this has been kind of hard for me to review. And part of the reason it's hard to review is because it does work almost exactly as advertised, but I'm still having a hard time liking it. For the features of the pocket mouse, you have your left button here, and your right button is on the left, which is very counterintuitive. You have left and you have right, and you have the scroll, but the scroll does not push down like some mouses use. And as I'll show you in a little bit, that can make a difference. This changes your options for different displays. I think there's three or four options on there. If it's moving too slow or fast, you can use this to adjust it. On off button in the back, not much to it really. It takes one uh, AAA battery, not included. All right, so I wanted to break down the pocket mouse into three categories that I would probably expect to use it for. Productivity, art, and gaming. And first up, I wanted to use it for productivity because that's something that I would use it for the most. I'm always on my computer bouncing from spreadsheets to emails, going back and forth between my mouse and my keyboard. And in that situation, I'm not a big fan of the pocket mouse. And here's why. Okay, so normally you got a setup like this where you have a wired mouse going to your laptop. You might have a wireless mouse that uses one of these. This is what I'm used to. I've been using one of these for decades. Now with the pocket mouse, it's also wireless. You have one of these and you have your pocket mouse. Once you plug in the wireless transmitter, it will automatically start working. Okay, there is something I wanted to point out after using this for a few days here. Most people, when they're doing something like a spreadsheet or typing something in, they're gonna reach over, type for a little bit, and then grab the mouse again, right? Back and forth. Do something on the mouse, do something on the keyboard. And your hand naturally lays on top of this where you have the left, right, and middle, you've kind of got three fingers and three positions here. Now when you do it with the, the pocket mouse, it's a little bit different because every time you reach over to the keyboard, you're dropping this down in a different position. So you reach over, you have to kind of reconfigure it. Here's another angle. Say you're, you're, on, your, uh, you're on your pocket mouse, you're doing something, you need to use your keyboard, put it down, type, pick it back up. Now you gotta kinda of fumble to get it back in the right position. Type. Depends on the position you put it down is how long it takes you to get it back. If you put it down like this, for example, you might reach over, oops. As opposed to a mouse where it's like this. Type. Something to consider. When I'm using a mouse, none of my fingers drag. When I use the pocket mouse, my pinky is dragging across the table. Mouse, nothing. No contact with the table. On my left, my right, and center. It kind of makes sense. Left, right, which is actually on the left for me. Two fingers. It's certainly a learning curve. I guess you could use this, this stand that's included. You still have to, I don't know. I guess, I guess if I was used to using the stand, it might be okay. The stand might be better, but you have to get used to putting it in the stand when you want to go back and forth. Now my son is a big gamer. He likes all kinds of games. Games like Minecraft, Warcraft, whatever the craft is out right now. And he's also been using it. Now some games, the ones that require a lot of right clicking, he's not really a fan of it, nor am I. The right click is a little counterintuitive. And some games like Minecraft, actually use something this pen mouse doesn't have, which was when you press the scroll button. You can't press the scroll button on the pocket mouse. Here's how the pocket mouse versus a regular mouse looks when playing Minecraft. So as far as the middle scroll button goes, when the regular mouse, as you can see, you can click that to uh, select items to your hotbar. That is something you cannot do with the pocket mouse. Not a lot of apps use that feature, but some do, and if you you're someone who relies on that, then it's something that you're gonna to have to consider. So right here, this is just standard building with the mouse you're using. So you're using some right clicks here, left clicks to break, right clicks to place. That's standard Minecraft mouse activity. As any Minecraft player will tell you, that's all very standard. Kill that thing, will you? Just kill it. Boom, boom. All right, now for the pocket mouse meets Minecraft. Let's see how much difference there is. 
keep in mind, my son has used a pocket mouse before, so this is not his first time using it. Doing some right clicking, some left clicking. The right clicking really is, is kind of difficult. It, it's not as good because you have a lot of other activity going on when you're moving the mouse around. So I'm not sure if pocket mouse is really good for gaming. It could be done, but it, it takes a lot of getting used to it. I'm not sure if it's, it's a step up. It feels more like a step backward. It's more of a struggle to, to play than, than it is with a mouse. They say you can use it on any surface. I have used it successfully on my leg. It seems like it's, the mouse is working fine there. How about on the wall, like they say in the commercial? Uh, this, this texture wall is not working so well. Oh, I can almost do it. Oh, I spell wall. Eh, how about on the couch? Oh, that's, a, that's a C, by the way. Yeah. How about as a dog pad? See, she likes this. Oh, it's not working great as a dog pad, a dog mouse pad. But she likes it. So not any surface, because this is not working that well, see? Nope, not working too well. But she's going to fall asleep here in a minute. Something else that was pointed out to me when I showed my mom the pocket mouse is, and she's left-handed, is if you're going to use this as a left-hander, you're kind of in trouble, because how are you going to right-click that? There's your button. I don't even know how you're going to do it the right button when you're left-handed. I guess you're going to use the side of your finger? I don't know. That is definitely going to be a problem for left-handed users. Another thing to consider is that you can't use this with an iPad. Even if you were to get a USB adapter into the iPad, the iPad doesn't have software to control a mouse, so you can't use this with an iPad. You'd have to use an Android or other tablet to use the pocket mouse. Now, both my daughter and I have used it for art, and we found that it's not really better than a regular stylus, although it does have a stylus on the end, which is certainly a capable stylus, but you don't need this to use a stylus. You can get a stylus anywhere. So here's how the pocket mouse looks when trying to use it for art. Now, as far as art goes, I'm not sure that this really beats a stylus, and there is a stylus included on the other end, so you can use it as a stylus, but as far as using this versus a stylus, I don't think it's better either, because when you're holding this mouse button down and letting go and using this right click, there's a lot of things that are moving your hand around. I don't know, it just seems like it's, it's harder to use than just using a regular stylus. Neither one of them look very good, but that's the difference. I have my daughter who's going to help me out here. She's a proficient cartoon artist. And she has also used the pocket mouse for a while. She's going to do some shapes with the mouse, the trackpad, and the pocket mouse, and a stylus on an iPad to show the difference. So let's check that out. This is the shape with the regular mouse. Drawing with the mouse is not really easy. We're going to see how easy it is compared to the others. This is with the trackpad. Now for the pocket mouse. Okay, so I mean, it looks like it's no better than using just a regular mouse, which isn't really great for doing artwork anyways. Now let's check out when we do the stylus on an iPad. So as a stylus, it works pretty well. Now this is a stylus on an iPad mini. And as you can see, as far as stylus goes, it it definitely works pretty well. This is a drawing that she's working on. Someone on Twitter also pointed out that Lazy Game Reviews did a review of an old product, almost 30 years old, called the Pen Mouse, which I'll link in the description below. So it tells me that this is not a new product, but it just hasn't caught on, maybe because people like a regular mouse better than a pen-shaped mouse. In the end, there will be definitely people who like the pocket mouse. 
I just haven't found one of those people in my household yet. Have you used the pocket mouse or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please follow my social profiles for progress pictures and videos as I go. Please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.